Alright, hi guys. Today what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go through quickly uh, the, the essay 2 paper. What are some of the learning points from here? Alright, by now you, your teachers should have uh, gone through your uh, essay 2 science, P3 science paper. And uh, there may be some uh, questions which you may have thought that, eh, I could have gotten it correct, but you were marked wrong. So today I'm going to explain to you why uh, you may have gotten it wrong and what are the things to take note for each question. Alright, okay, starting from question one, very quickly, why is this toy horse considered a non living thing? So, as you see, I've underlined a non living thing. So, this question is asking you about the characteristics of living things. Okay, so we're definitely not talking about a hair or the size. We cross this out. Now, we are left with cannot reproduce and it cannot move freely. Okay, it cannot move freely. Uh, some of you say, yes, toy horse can move, but the thing is, it can move, but it cannot move on its own. Okay, and therefore, the most, the best answer here will be it cannot reproduce because living things can reproduce, and uh, that is a very, uh, that is, that is the best characteristics to describe this. Okay, question two. Which of the following statements about flowering plants is not correct? Okay, so first option, flowering plants reproduce or uh, produce spores. Okay, that's false. Flowering plants, they have seeds. Okay, the next two, flowering plants produce fruits with seeds. That's true. Can make their own food. True. And the last option, okay, some live in water. That's true also. For example, your water lily. Therefore, the answer is the first one. Okay. Third question, yeast and bread mold. Okay, I've circled this and I straight away think, okay, this is fungi. Okay, they are not considered plants. Yes, they are not plants. They are in their own category. They are called fungi because they do not need air to survive. That's false. They are living things. They do not need soil to grow. False. Again, it does not matter whether they, they have soil or not. Okay, they do not make their own food. That's true. They feed on other organisms, fungi. Okay, fourth, do not respond to changes in the environment. That's false. Living things, they do that. So the answer is three, they do not make their own food. Question four, water, warmth, and air are needed for germination. Okay, so what's the reason why water is needed for germination of seed? Okay, many of you chose the first answer. The seed can take in the water to survive. That's not true. Which part of the seed? It actually needs to wait for the roots. The roots is the one that takes in water. Okay, so the best answer here will be four. Water can soften the seed coat. Remember, I gave uh, uh, integrity one and two the, the example, my classes, the example of your green bean soup. Why is it that your green bean soup, you, you don't see the outer covering and you realize that, hey, the, after, you, after you, uh, the green beans are cooked, they look slightly larger. It's because it's soaked with water and then once it's big enough, you realize that the seed coat will peel off. Okay. So the water can soften the seed coat. Okay, five. Baby's toy, plastic. For baby, why? For baby, we need uh, the toys to be safe. It cannot break easily. And uh, of course, it cannot be too heavy. Okay, so the best answer here is one. It's not too heavy. Breaks easily? No, no. I'm not going to have uh, toys that breaks easily near my children. Okay, transparent does not matter. Colorful, transparent, it doesn't matter to me. Fourth, it's not waterproof. Again, it does not matter. Some of my toys does not need to be waterproof at all. So the best answer is plastic is not heavy. Because if it's very heavy, would the baby be able to carry it? Nope. Moving on, question six. Okay, again, the flow chart. What I did is that, uh, what could the materials P, Q, R, and S be? What I did is that I list them down. So what I do is the P, I follow it up. Does it float? No. Elastic? No. Comes from plants? Yes. Okay, and I listed down right in this column so that it's easier for me to check. Have you done that? Some of you did that and that's good. Okay, so what I did is that I list down all the characteristics. I trace, you know, the snake and lattice method I told all of you. So Q, again, I move backwards. Elastic? Yes. From plants? Yes. R, transparent? Yes. Hard? Yes. Plant From plants? No. Okay, similar for S, is uh, it is not transparent. So I wrote, wrote it all down here so that it's easier for me to look at one glance. So I just put tick and crosses. If I have crossed, oh, I know that definitely this is out, but I will check all the options. In this case, 
Wood does not float. Some of you got uh, mixed up here. Okay, wood can actually float on water. Okay, so the best answer here will be cotton wool does not float. Yes, not elastic. Yes, comes from plants. Yes, from the cotton plant. Rubber, elastic. Yes, from plants. Yes, from the rubber tree. Glass, nope, it's, it's not from plants. Okay, it's from uh, sand. Okay, hard. Yes, it is hard. And transparent. Yes, it's transparent. Iron, not from plants. Yes, it's a metal. It is hard, definitely. It is not transparent. Yes. Okay, you don't see like a transparent nail in any way. Okay, so next, seven. Same thing, flow chart. Again, I list down no definite volume for A and then B. No definite shape. Yes to a definite volume. See the same thing. So I listed down. I have a bit of space on top, so I wrote it on top. So from here, A, no definite volume. I know that A is definitely a gas. B, no definite shape, definite volume. This is liquid. Definite shape, definite volume, this is solid. So based on this, my answer is 3. Okay, air, water, and cup. Question 8. George filled a container with water to the brim. Filled up with water. Put some stones, and the water spilled. So this tells me there is no space. Okay, no space. The setup above shows that stone occupies space. The answer is 2. Yes, it's true that stone has mass. Okay, but it does not answer to this question. It has mass, so what? It does not, it does not tell me why the water spilled. Okay, it's because it takes up that space. And therefore, the water has no more space. It has to overflow. Alright? Question 9. Jason has a container as shown below. Which of the following can be stored completely? Volume, 40 cubic centimeters. So now I have 45. Oh, all of them seems larger than this in volume. Okay, and the only one that can be compressed would be air. So therefore, rock, definitely too big. I cannot fit in. Fixed volume, definite volume. Liquid, again, no. It's a fixed volume. It will spill out. Liquid for cooking oil, same thing. Fixed volume, it will spill out. So the best answer is 45 cubic centimeters of air. Air can be compressed. 45 cubic centimeters. Imagine a strange activity that we did. Compress a little bit. Yes, I can fit it in. Question 10. Life cycle A. After an egg, it becomes a pupa, not a lava. Uh, it becomes, sorry, becomes a lava, not a pupa. So this is out. Life cycle B is correct. C is correct as well. D is wrong. After egg, it doesn't become an adult. It becomes a young first. So the answer is B and C. Question 11. Based on what you've learned about four stage life cycle, which our following statement is true about life cycle. Okay? Some of you uh, mentioned about the young always look like the adult. False. Okay? Mosquito doesn't look like an uh, it's a, The young doesn't look like it's an adult. The larva, okay? It doesn't look like an adult. Adult has wings and is able to fly. Uh, yes, a butterfly can fly, but it does not answer the question about life cycle. So you see why I keep telling all of you, you need to underline the keywords there. Read the question carefully. What you remember, what you think the question is going to be asking you about, or what you think is important, highlight it, underline it. So here, the answer is three. At the larva stage, the able is able to move freely. The caterpillar, it can move, right? By itself, yes. Pupa stage, no. It doesn't move around, so it's not going to harm the farmer's crop. 12. Okay, so after the seed, when it germinates, you'll see the roots first. Okay, and then after it, you'll probably see more roots and a longer stem. So the answer will be 3. Very straightforward question. 13. Alright, same thing. Based on this uh, table given, I'll list down what are the things that I need here, or uh, what I've uh, observed from here. Okay, so animal P. No wings, lay eggs in water, tree stage, does not look like an adult. Animal Q, same thing based on here. Wings, yes. Lay eggs in water, yes. Four stage, does not look like adult. Okay, so based on this, the best answer will be the frog and the mosquito. Mosquito, yes. No wings, lay eggs in water, that's true. Tree stage, true. Does not look like adult, yes. So you have your tadpole and the frog doesn't look like each other. Animal Q, you have mosquito, does not look like adult, yes, that's true, four stage, true, lay eggs in water, true, have wings, yes, alright, 14, ah, 
So the growth of a seed to seedling over 10 days. The seed leaf contains food. So all this is given to you already. But what is different here based on diagram above? So you can see that this is, these are leaves. So when the leaves are fully grown, they can make food for the plants. So for the first one, gets its food from the soil. That's false. Dang. Nope. The roots take in water and nutrients. Okay, similar for option three, the seedling gets food from the fertilizers. No. They don't get food from fertilizers. They absorb the nutrients and the water, okay, from the soil. Two the, is the answer. They make food for the seedling. Four is wrong because it does not grow new seed leaves. Seed leaf is this thing here, all right? The seed leaf is the one that provides the food. It grows true leaves. We call that true leaves, the green leaves, okay? Those are the real leaves. So this, some of you may have gotten this wrong. 15. Water placed in the freezer turned into ice. So as you move it uh, upright or in any direction, you realize that hey, the, the, the ice doesn't move at all. So it tells you that the ice has a fixed shape. Tree is wrong because it does not take the shape of the container. You move it sideways, you realize that hey, it is still the triangle. Move it upside down, it wouldn't even move at all if it's, if it's stuck at the bottom of this container. Four is wrong because it does not answer the question. In this question, do you see any gas around? No. Okay, so it does not answer the question, although this is a correct statement. So you have to always read the question carefully to make sure that you answer it correctly. All right, onwards to section B. Life cycles, again, based on the diagrams above. Many of these practices that we've did, uh, you realize that the, uh, the answers that I've given to you, I always ask you to underline based on the diagram above, based on this uh, pictures based on what is given to you state similarities between both life cycles we're talking about life cycles we are not talking about appearances or characteristics okay so the first similarity they both have the egg stage okay so you can see the beetle has the egg a, a chicken has the egg as well so you, and you cannot say it starts with the egg stage that is wrong Okay, same thing I told you, life cycle does, it does not have a start, does not have an end, so it goes on and on. So, but you need to mention both have egg stage or both lay eggs, that's fine. Second similarity, both have the adult stage and the young stage. The young stage, although in the beetle it is not stated, we know that the larva and the pupa, this is the young of the, cater, uh, of the beetle. Okay, so you again, some of you may have written Oh, that's for part B. What are the differences? Okay, we look at, again, life cycle. We are not talking about whether uh, it, it can fly or not because you cannot see it from the diagram. Okay, first difference, chicken has three stage life cycle, beetle has four stage. Second difference, the chick looks like its parent or looks like the adult. The larva does not look like the adult beetle. Some of you have written, uh, it has a pupa stage. Yes, you can see that from the diagram. It, the beetle has a pupa stage, while the chicken does not. Okay, so some of you, you realize that initially it was marked wrong, but you've been given a mark. We, you realize my answer, I always mention chicken, what does it have? Beetle, what does it have? Chicken, what does it have? The larva, what does it have? So you realize that it has. you have to tell me exactly what one has and what one doesn't have. But in, in this case, this time around, we look at the answer. Some of you mentioned, okay, the beetle d does have the pupa. Chicken does not have. Okay, that's fair enough. That answers the question. So we have given you that half mark as well. Half mark for each differences and half mark for each similarity. All right. Uh, some of you mentioned have wings. We can't really see that in a beetle here. That may be the outer covering. So it's, we cannot assume that this has wings. And the thing is, not all beetles actually have wings, okay? But this is not testing your general knowledge, but it's based on what is uh, drawn here in this picture, all right? Next, 17. Group the following animals in two groups. I think it's very straightforward. Some of you, for part B, you have written give birth uh, to young alive, or you have written does not lay eggs. Both are accepted. But some of you, you missed out. You just write give birth, okay? That's not good enough. Because uh, we do have uh, fishes that give birth, but what happens is that the, the eggs are hatched inside. For mammals, what is, uh, what is a very important characteristic is that give birth, that's the process, and the product of itself is give birth to the live young. 
the young is alive okay so you can see the the young is alive it's a live young okay so those of you not given a mark don't worry just learn from this mistake this time around okay and the the animals here are listed very straightforward chicken insect fish lay eggs lion dolphin give birth to young alive or to live young okay onwards to 18 same thing look at the properties and uh, wrapping foil so I list down it must be definitely it must be waterproof yes does it need to be strong no okay wrapping foil you realize that I'm able to tear easily and I'm able to wrap it wrap around it easily and to wrap around it easily I need it to be flexible transparent doesn't matter to me so the best answer is a so the most important part of this is not whether uh, it is not strong or whether it's transparent the aluminum foil although unlikely it can be transparent but to me what is most important I need to wrap around if I want to wrap around a uh, sweet potato it has to wrap fully around another if I want to wrap around a very long piece of corn it needs to be able to wrap it around so it needs to be flexible enough so that's the keyword that we're looking for for this all right 19 okay sorry scroll down moist bread toasted bread fresh bread fresh bread oh uh, sorry moist bread has the most amount of water fresh bread does have some water but not as much you realize that bread if you leave it uh, you buy from uh, 7-eleven or from uh, fair price and you leave it on the table for about a couple of weeks and uh, it's fresh you didn't put any water but it starts to grow more it's because it does have some moisture in it okay so p most water r some water toasted bread is completely dry so no water so p r q okay similarity between fungi and non-flowering plants very important and very obvious differences is that a uh, similarity is that they both reproduces by spores and they do not uh, and they cannot produce flowers or fruits so if you have either one of this answer you should get one mark 20 okay turn the cup upside down we have done this in class okay and now uh, we push it down and you realize that what is inside is air okay and you realize that it is not giving up this space around it so based on this experiment above we can conclude air as matter so matter, we remember anything that has mass and occupy space. Or we call that volume, anything that has mass and volume. So in this case, is it about mass? No, it's about the space. So it's about the volume. So your keyword should be volume. Air has volume, or you can say air occupies space. That'll be your one mark. Then you did the experiment again and realized that, hey, the water takes up all of the space there. Something must be wrong with the cup. Okay, some of you mentioned air th th there is no air but that doesn't tell me what is wrong with the cup okay you need to tell me what what exactly is wrong with the cup and you can either say there's a hole or you can say it has a crack okay why we don't accept spoil this time around spoil for the the cup may be a plastic cup it may be crumpled but there may be no holes okay what really caused the water to enter is because there are holes for the air to escape so this time around, we do not accept the answer if you wrote that it is spoiled. Tell me how did this is spoiled exactly, okay? So that, that is the answer for part B. 21. A frog, some insects inside it, a netting, okay? And shows the number of insect X and insect Y. You realize that insect X, same, remain the same. Insect Y, first day, 20. Second day, about 16 maybe. And the third day, oh, left about 12. So from here we can say insect Y decreased while insect X same number. So which insect uh, did the frog feed on? Insect Y you should get this half mark here. And how do you explain? From this graph we can see that the number of insect Y decreased. Okay, there's lesser or fewer of insect Y if you answer that. Uh, but you also have to tell me. Okay, that's not all. Insect X can also decrease what? So how do you arrive at the answer? You realize that insect X, it has to be constant. Okay, there's no change, 20, 20, 20. So it tells me that the frog doesn't like insect X, so it's not eating it. Okay, so that is the complete answer that you should be uh, answering to. Tell me exactly, based on this data given, 
Can you just tell me that because the insect Y decreased? No, you have to also tell me that insect X remains the same. All right. B, fine netting instead of clear glass. So it tells me, oh, air. Some of you say that the frog needs to breathe or frog needs air. Yes, that's the reason. Yes, but what is the function of the netting? The netting allows air to enter. That is the half mark. Some of you, most of you have missed out there. Or then the function of it is to, for the frog, or you can say li the living things need air to live. So there is this two part. The function, what's the netting for? And what's the reason? What's the concept behind it? All right, so that will be the complete answer. 22. The leaves of this plant to make food on, on the plant, make food for the make food for the plant. Okay, Dave wanted to find out if the number of leaves on the plant can affect the growth. Okay, so this is the aim of the experiment. And the thing that only changes is actually stated here. Find out if the number of leaves can affect. So number of leaves is the only thing that changes. Okay, this kind of question about fair test. Or whether it's a fair experiment you realize that most of most of it the aim you can find it in the question stem itself okay as you scroll down look at it do you think this is fair is the number of leaves the only thing that changes here pot y has fewer leaves but look at the size oh look at the heights pot w is higher that is not fair anymore okay so here they are both water daily equal amount of good soil so part a is it fair definitely no so you can either give me the answer that the plant height is different but actually i don't like this answer how is it different tell me okay pot w is taller than pot y or to be more specific you say the plant in pot w is taller than the plant in pot y so the height difference that is that is something that is not fair it must be the same it must be constant Okay, or you can give the answer as the leaves of pot W are larger than those in pot Y. So either one of this, height of the plant or size of the plant, you either one of this you get a one mark. Okay, if you just write no and you don't have a right answer, you don't get a mark. Okay, you must support with your reason. Part B, Dave was told by his teacher not to set up in a dark room. Dark room why? No light. Okay, so without light, what will happen? Plants cannot make food without light. Many of you have gotten this part. You say that, yes, plants cannot make food. So? So what? Plants cannot make food. Does it matter to me? Yes, because the conclusion is that the plants will then die or they cannot grow well. So you must have these two parts. What you observe, what you observe, or what is the reason for your answer, and what any other conclusion. Okay, so what you observe is that, or the reason for this is that plants cannot make food. Always ask yourself, so what? So what? It cannot make food. It will then die or it cannot grow well. So that's the other half mark. 23. Three groups of animals. So when you read this question, you should think the key characteristics of animal groups. So you have learned about mammals, insects, fishes, so on and so forth. And now you have compare amphibian and reptiles. So you can first list down amphibians lay eggs in water while reptiles lay eggs on land. Okay, same thing. I state the amphibians, what does it have? And reptiles, the difference to it. Okay, the second difference is amphibians have moist skin or breathe through their moist skin while reptiles have scales or some of you can say reptiles uh, breathe through their lungs. Okay, so again, some of you have written amphibians have moist skin while reptiles do not. You've been given a mark, but that's not the best answer. You should tell me what do the reptiles have then? Okay, so uh, other answers that are accepted Amphibians spend part of their lives underwater breathing through gills And part of their lives on land breathing with lungs While reptiles breathe uh, through lungs Okay, and um, <coughs> Breathing through, yeah, so that's about it So in this case, you can base on what you have learned The knowledge that you have learned the, Remember the, the mind map that we have done so that will help you answer the question okay because down here it didn't say based on the information given there's no other information given to you you should know these characteristics well part b one similarity among the three groups of animals so again we look at the key characteristics of these animals we do not look at uh just anything about it so, so if you say that all of them have eyes all of them have legs no it does not answer the question what makes them 
that particular group. What makes a mammal a mammal? I cannot just say that they have eyes because reptiles have eyes as well. But what is special about them? What is the main characteristics about them? So in this case, all three groups, fish, amphibians, reptiles, they lay eggs. Or you can say they have three stage life cycles. Or you can say they are cold-blooded. Okay, although this is not in the syllabus, but it's accepted as well. 24a, Ahmad says life cycle starts from the egg, ends at the adult. That's wrong. Life cycle goes on and on. I cannot say the egg comes first, then the chicken. Okay, so no, there's no start. Or you can say there's no end stage in life cycles. Okay, and part B, stage P, the caterpillar is harmful because they feed on the leaves or crops or the plants. So if you say feed on the leaves, you should get a half mark. Feed on plants, they will eat the plants, they will eat the leaves or they will eat the crops. Okay, either that, you'll get a half mark. For the answer that you've written P, you get a half mark. Oh, 24. Did I miss out one question? Oh no, I did miss out one question. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, I didn't scan this in. But uh, maybe I just uh, quickly just go through for 25. Okay, you have your answer, your your paper with you. The plunger is pushed as hard as possible. So it tells me there is a action of compression, compressing it. Okay, for diagram A, yes, I can push it in. So it shows that it can be compressed. Diagram B, cannot, no change, cannot be compressed. C, oh, it dips a little. It means that it can be compressed. D, yes, you can push it quite a fair bit. In fact, quite a, quite a, a fair bit, yes. So therefore, yes, so I can... A, C, and D all can be compressed. Your explanation, okay, is that air can be compressed. That's why you see that you, I can actually move the plunger down. Or you can say air has indefinite volume. Or it means the same thing as air has no fixed volume. Either one of this, you get that one mark. All right. So um, that's the end of this uh, SA2 paper. I hope that uh, you've learned something and uh, you've learned to be more careful with especially the answering of section B. For section A, the same thing. You realize that you need to look through every single option, cross out those that are not true, and even if you think that it's not true, write, if you have a bit of time, write down quickly why you think it's not true. So that, that is your way of checking through your answers. All right, Especially for those of you who have finished very quickly, uh, you have about 10-15 minutes left at the end of the paper. Go back, look through the, the MCQ question. Like what I'll do is that, okay, let me just quickly scroll back. And then I'll just start to write down why I don't choose this answer. Why I don't choose this answer. Think through it carefully. L read the questions again. Underline the keywords if you have not done so. Some of you like to do it fast. But when you're checking, you, it's always good to go back and uh, underline the keywords and check through one by one. Cross out the options. And of course, in an exam setting, check your OS that you have shaded correctly. Okay, that's all for today. And uh, don't be too uh, sad if you didn't score that well. But what is most important is that you have learned from your mistakes. And then uh, in future, when we have uh, such practices, uh, you don't make the same mistakes as well. It's all uh, what is most important is learning from our mistakes and improving on our best. Those of you who have done well, good, but keep on improving on your best. Alright, that's all for today. Bye, see you.